okay so in the previous video we learned that we can find out prime factors for a number using a factor tree now when we want to construct a factor tree it is very easy if we have small numbers for example two digit numbers it would be very easy for us to create a factor tree but imagine what would happen if you have numbers which are huge let us say you have a three digit number or a four digit number what sort of factor tree would you create it will become a very huge factor tree so that poses an inherent problem in using factor tree to find out the prime factorization of numbers larger numbers so we have to investigate another method which is simpler and more accurate to find out the prime factors for that and I will be discussing that method in this video so uh, the method here is mainly using division and what we do is we start dividing a number starting from the smallest prime factor and uh, smallest prime number and check whether it is divisible by subsequent prime numbers and till we have remainder as one so uh, this is better understood when we take an example so let us say that we have a number 980 here and now what I intend to do is to find out the prime factors for this number 980 so what we do is we first take the smallest prime number other than 1 which is 2 and then we divide 980 by 2 which gives us 490 Right. when I divide this thing it gives us this then is 490 again divisible by 2 yes we can so we can do one more divisible uh, division by 2 which will give us 245 now can we divide this 245 by 3 2 no we cannot do it by 2 so we check for the next prime number which is 3 now can we divide this 245 by 3 no we cannot do that 245 is not a multiple for 3 and if you remember the simple test we can do here is 4 plus 2 6 and 5 11 is not a multiple of 3 hence we cannot divide it by 3 can we divide it by 5 yes it seems very apparent because the this digit here is 5 so we can do it so uh, 245 when when we divide this 5 with 245 what we get is 49 now what is the next prime number after 5 because obviously we cannot divide 49 by 5 so we have 7 and can we divide 49 by 7 yes we get 7 as a remainder and then again we divide this 7 with 7 to give us 1 as the remainder so now the numbers that we obtained here if you watch it they are all the prime numbers and what essentially we have done is we have quickly found out the prime factors of this number 980 so the numbers the prime factors for 980 could be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7 so this is a simpler method and an easier method as compared to finding out using a factor tree for finding the prime factors so just to summarize this method what the first step that we do is divide the number with 2 3 5 7 and so on in this order as long as the quotient is divisible by this number as we saw that we divided it by 2 Till the quotient was divisible by it then and we continued this further and you keep on doing it till you finally get one as the final remainder so then this method is very useful for the coming topics right now it's just you just need to know that since we are looking for prime factorizations so we start with this prime number that is two three five seven and on so that is the only thing to be taken care of so having said that See you in the next session.